Okay, uh, in this tutorial, I'll explain about how to uh, set up a materiality for your geometry. So, uh, as a first one, I will start this one explaining uh, glass material, then I will turn it to water. And some, I will also explain mapping. Uh, okay. So here, uh, before I start with, I will add uh, some uh, carpet-like object uh, underneath the sofa area. So I'll simply click the box here. And then I'll use, I will kind of make a very simple geometry, very thin underneath it. Uh, so to change its color, uh, go to Material Editor. So make sure that my geometry is selected. And then if you have something different view, make sure that you, uh, so there are two different modes. One is Select Material and the other one is Compact Material Editor. I'm using Compact one. So I just select an empty one here. And I'll change it to V-Ray material. So I click the arc and design button. And I'll change this one. Uh, my uh, Let's say this one is carpet. And then I will change to V-Ray material. I shrink this uh, standard and I click uh, V-Ray. And then I'll select uh, V-Ray material and OK. And then probably I just simply change uh, this color some little bit dark brown, like carpet-like material with dark. So this one is uh, change how to uh, change the color of material and make sure that you click the assign material to selection button so once I click it so you see that this one is a little bit brown so let's uh, test render it so now you see that the color of this very thin material is changed to brown and actually the color brown actually changed the overall color too uh, in general it is okay uh, I will just uh, re uh, repeat one more time so this one is a little bit dark to me so I change I want to make it a little bit brighter using camera setting which is under rendering and environment so here I want to make it a little bit brighter so I use a little bit small number of F number here then I'll a little bit test it so again this one looks better to me uh, so this one a little bit brighter if you want to make it even brighter, I also uh, make a little bit shutter speed a little bit slower. So let's say I'm going to use 400. Okay, so now it's brighter and I kind of feel better now. Okay, now I'm, I want to change, so instead of using carpet, let's assume that we have a mirror underneath it. So like a very glossy, reflective uh, plastic or glass material on the bottom, just imaginary or just hypothetical uh, material. So here, first I'll make sure that the carpet material is selected. And then what I'm going to do, uh, I will simply change the reflection. So what does the black reflection mean? There's a zero reflection. If I use a white, white material, which means uh, which will reflect 100%. So I'll assign it to this material and I will re-render it. Then as you see that this one reflect the frame uh, on top of it. And also you see the reflection of the sofa and also you see the reflection of the shadow. So this one is actually making uh, how to, this one is how to make very shiny glass-like material. So instead of using this, uh, I want to make even uh, water, like sea water or fond water. To do that, actually I recommend for you to use another material. So I select another empty one, I called it water. And for this one, uh, actually I rather use um, some, some standard material which is here and then in under architectural uh, I will select it and actually you'll see that you can you actually there's a template in architecture which is called water so basically this one is water I'll sign it and then I will test it so this one is a little bit kind of bluish dark blue it's kind of like deep ocean like water so for you see that kind of reflection and everything is a little bit black to change this dark uh, one, uh, what I will change is actually uh, transparency. So transparency 100 means it will show the other side of material. That's why it is dark because you, this one shows the other side of uh, this thin geometry. So if I change it to zero and then if I render it, which means there's zero uh, transparency, which, which means that it will show the 100% uh, reflection. So now you will see the color on, on top of here. And then to kind of make a kind of like ripple or wave, uh, I will select, uh, I will go to special effect, which is this one. 
and then if you open it there's a kind of so-called bump section so under bump I will select none means there's nothing then actually I will use uh, standard and actually uh, wave material so this one so I'll select an okay and then I'll uh, apply it and then let's see uh, what this option changes So probably now you see the kind of very subtle uh, wave on top of the surface. So kind of you see kind of distorted shadow here. If you want to change that, just so simply change the number of wave. So I'll change to 30. And let's see the result. So not really changed a lot, but probably that you will see some differences. You will recognize some differences. And wave radius, I will a little bit make it smaller. So kind of like the wave is kind of like have more kind of smaller. But now you see that you have kind of like wave is a little bit changed. Kind of like the center one here. So play with uh, this kind of parameters. And also amplitude is the height of wave. So I'll change it to 10. Uh, actually, I little I want to change this one as one something large number one thousand. So when I test it, then you will see kind of more natural uh, kind of random pattern of waves here. So this one I will show how to use uh, first of all uh, glass like material, and then I change to kind of water like uh, reflective material. And in the next tutorial, I will explain about how to use mapping.